And also on the new organ, don't be this guy. In a game like Rainbow Six Siege where you're going to need rotations on bomb sites and maps to maneuver around the bomb site a lot more easier and more efficient, uh, do not do this. Uh, don't do this. And don't reinforce this wall right here because your team will be mad at you and instead make it open with their shotgun and this will be a lot better and you'll practice that a lot more. So in this video, I'm going to show you every single rotation in Oregon, the new Oregon, uh, counting every single bomb site and possible rotation that you can, and I will explain them a lot more. So on Oregon, on this map, it's especially when there's a lot of rooms, there's a lot of doorways, but sometimes those doorways are watched by attackers, so you'll need to be able to uh, be able to rotate safely in between different soft walls, uh, avoiding a lot of hard breachers opening up angles into your site so what i would recommend doing first is making these rotates i just made do not make them any different maybe just as long this white one you can choose if you want it on the right side or left side but i like having it a little bit to the left side that way you can kind of tuck in this corner if you needed to otherwise on this you don't want to open this up you want to reinforce off these two walls but on this one you never make the rotate on the left side always make it on the right side crouched or running level it does not matter um, you can decide if you want this hatch open or not. It really just tell a teammate if they want it or not. But the only rotations you need on the site is this one. The white rotate like this. Or, uh, this is really questionable on this one, but usually I make the rotates and a lot of other people make it running. Running, uh, rotation on the side different from the window. The way you can do this on many other maps, if you don't know how to make a lot of these kind of rotates, if you don't know left to right side, find where the where the main attacking source is, so especially like the white, the white window, right? If someone's on the big window, um, and I make the rotation right here, it's gonna be a little bit harder to sit in this site when I'm exposed to the big window, right? And you need to sit behind this for cover, because if you sit right here, and this is reinforced, you're exposed to the window, and you're exposed to the attic. So I recommend reinforcing. Always try to make um, a soft, or like a, uh, a, a solid pillar for you to sit behind, while being able to be exposed by this, or you can use it for cover by being coming from white stairs. So those are the rotations up here for my kid's bedroom. One right here, one right here, and one over by white stairs right here. So those are all of them for kids. Let's go down to the basement. So on the basement defense, when you start out, you always want to make sure that you have some of the shotgun impacts or anything kind of like that. Um, people usually like to open up freezer like this. Um, they can open this up and then reinforce this, right? But the thing is, sometimes people don't play Freezer, and it's just another line of sight for attackers to get into you. So do not, don't open this up unless you have someone actually playing in there. So otherwise, reinforce that off. But you want to make the rotate a running rotate, right here. Running or crouch it does not matter. Then boom, you want to make that right there, and that's the basically the only rotate you need on this bomb site just to get because you can go between here and here. But um, people are like, what if you're holding bunk? Um, if you don't have anyone holding a shield and bunk, this is uh, basically the the only thing that you would do. You put a shield right here, move it back up a little bit, and have a Jaeger, put an ADS right here. But otherwise, this is the only rotation that you need. Um, and after that, if you can't, if the shield gets destroyed, then you just reinforce this back up, and then boom, you waste a lot of utility. That's how you basically do a four downstairs. Let's go back to kitchen site and meeting site now. So on kitchen site. You can either, honestly, this wall right here is fine opening it up or closing it up. If you reinforce it, it's really no big problem. But if you open it up, it's, like I said, not a big problem as well. You can decide if you want to open this up right here. This is a possible rotation. But if your team is not going to be playing showers, then I recommend not having this on. Um, otherwise, I would leave that, reinforce this if you are playing this rotate right here. But otherwise, people might think, okay, maybe I might want to make a rotate into this side right here, but... If you're if if your if your team is not coordinated and you're not re um, playing in that area or maybe in right here, you know this is probably not the best to even open these up. Uh, just because a wall is soft does not mean you need to open it up or reinforce it. Sometimes leaving a wall soft is good because if you open this up and nobody is playing in uh, this area, then attackers can literally just walk into site if they wanted to or get eyes into the site if you're trying to defend over in the back over here. So. Uh, do not do not make rotates right here unless your team wants you to. Uh, make sure you have hatches to reinforce and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's basically all the rotates in this site. Let's just move on to the next one. 
So on that last bomb site, if there is a meeting in Big Tower, you can either decide to reinforce off one wall and make a rotate right here. Having a mirror or anything kind of is good, but if she's banned most of the time. So you can either decide if you want to put a mirror uh, or a rotation right here into site, or uh, for the other bomb site that's in Kitchen, you want to make a rotate on the far side right here. And make it crouched or running, it does not matter. Uh, I recommend making it running, that way it's easier for you to get uh, retake site. But these are basically the normal re re uh, rotations. Ignore that one. Um, there's this one right here and one over here optional because if your team is not going to be holding anywhere in Big Tower or any of that kind of stuff, then I recommend closing those off. But you don't need a lot of rotations on this site, so that's the main crucial one between sites. So my main tip for reinforcing rotates or making rotates is kind of mastering how to do it. You don't want to waste too much shotgun ammo. If you're making a lot, because if you're the only one making rotates, you want to have some ammo, you know, all these over a gunfight. But what I like to do is get my crosshair lined up on the very corner right here, one, and then make it on the very next side, two, and then one above this one again, three, and then four. Usually sometimes this is right here, but that's basically four shots can make you a good rotation. You don't need to make it perfect. Doug, don't worry about making a rotate look perfect because some people will use like at least like eight shotgun shots to make this hole. You know, like I just made three. What three shots and has made me a good hole right there. Well, it depends on the wall. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that is like on coastline. You know, sometimes the walls are a little bit harder to use, but that's my main. Those are the main reinforcements or and rotations for the new organ. If you like this video, please leave a like. I stream most every single day on Twitch, so be sure be sure to follow me on there. All uh, those Instagram, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. So if you guys want to see another map, just comment what map you want below. I'll be doing every single map, every single uploads every single day on this channel. So make sure you have the notifications on for when a YouTube goes video goes live and have a great day.